Okay, I want to do a little electrical uh, compressor troubleshooting today. Some questions come up in our courses about how do you troubleshoot uh, the compressors electrically. Well, I have some diagrams drawn here on the board that for a single phase compressor, you can actually look at it so that you see the run winding and the start winding with the overload in the common or the C terminal. Now, we can determine which terminal is which by measuring a compressor. If you'll look what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a look at my three terminals and I'm measuring the resistance. Here I have 5.7 approximately. Between these two, I have 4.2 and between these two I have 4.2. I should have had 1.5 on one of those. That's 4.2, 5.5, there it is, 1.5 approximately. Now that tells me that I have continuity between the windings. If you notice I had one that read higher than the other one, one of them was 5.7. What that means is the, the one that I'm not on is going to be my common terminal. So you do have to make good contact on here. This is going to be my common terminal right here. I have nothing that shows me that here on this compressor, so I've determined that. The lower one of the two is going to be the run winding. So when I look at these two terminals, which two it was that I was on, that right there. This is now my run winding because it is not the one uh, uh, that we had a while ago, which makes the remaining one the start winding, or start terminal. Now, in order to troubleshoot this compressor, I want to, number one, make sure that it is not grounded. Now, you want a good ohm meter for this. If you have an ohm meter that will not read into the kilo ohms, uh, you may not see a grounded compressor. In fact, one thing to be cautious of, if you're touching the leads, then it may actually show as it's being shorted. So you cannot touch the lead when you do that. This one shows that it is not shorted to ground or to the case, so the windings look good. Now, three phase, I want to swap over to three phase for just a moment. You see the three phase windings here. The three phase have a common internal overload on many compressors. Some do, some do not. But when you do, if, the, if it's open, you will not have continuity between any of the phases. If a good compressor should be so that each ter uh, from terminal to terminal will equal. In other words, T1 to T2 will equal T2 to T3, T1 to T2. Uh, T3. In other words, anywhere you measure should be the equal resistance. Now, uh, again, you should not have any resistance, excuse me, you should not have any continuity to the case. Uh, there is a situation where, especially R22, if it's been sitting for a while, you may actually have some 50 uh, K ohms is not unusual to ground if it's been sitting for a while. But if I, if I read less than that uh, 50K to ground, I would be very, very skeptical about uh, trying to run that compressor. But just the same, let's go back over here and see what happens. You can see that the continuity between R to C, as long as the overload is closed, should give us the run winding. From C to S should give us the resistance of the start winding. We add them together to get the total resistance from R to S. Now there's many different failures that can happen between uh, that. Some that I want to just quickly explain. If I had a open start winding for example, I would not have the continuity between the C and the uh, S, nor would I have it between the R and the S in that particular case. Another would be a start to start or, or a start to run internal short 
in that case they're not going to add up correctly. Another would be where we would have a maybe a start winding shorted to ground. In that case we would wind up with resistance to ground. Sometimes you may actually have a turn to turn short to where somewhere inside that motor these two terminals or these uh, two windings have come together. What's going to happen is it's going to read too low. About the only way to tell that is through the manufacturer's specifications. A lot of times that's hard to determine but it uh, will make the compressor run extremely hot and pull too many uh, amps while running. Another is high resistance. Well, how could you have a high resistance in a run winding? Let's say, for example, we had a wire that was about burn in two inside that winding. That could cause us a high resistance. Uh, grounded start windings, anytime you get any continuity to the case, regardless of what winding you're measuring, you got a problem. Uh, one of the ones that's really misdiagnosed many times is an open overload. People will think that's a bad compressor. You have to give this overload time to reset. If the compressor is warm and has tripped that overload, it may take as much as eight hours to reset. So do not condemn a compressor until you've given it time to reset. Uh, just want to kind of bring you up on some of that. I know a lot of times folks get out here and they really just say, well, I don't I know how in the world I can tell what's the common start to run. Yes, you can. If the compressor is good, once again, it will add up uh, correctly. So how do you know what these ohms are supposed to be? The only way you're really going to know what they're supposed to be is pull the manufacturer specifications of that compressor. But you don't always have that out there in the field. This is a quick check. Thank you very much.